And if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, be sure to subscribe. Link is in the description. Follow us on Instagram. They've got season four of a show called Fargo. And it stars oh, yeah. Chris Rock right. and Uncle Gabe that's on power, who used to be Colonel Taylor on a different world. Mm -hmm. He's in this season. Take a look at the trailer, and that starts next week. And we have got to do reviews on that. Take a look. You sure about this? You remember what happened to the Irish? Italians, they're the past. We're the future. They just don't know it yet. We're the goddamn Roman Empire. Hey! They still control trucking, the unions, the railroad. I see you've met my daughter. Your, your daughter? The one and only. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. Huh. We need to move now before they get their heads on straight. This is what you call a transition of power. What are they? Decorative? We're warning to the other rats. This is America, sir. Last time I checked, not Soviet Russia. I'm teaching him how the world works. And how's that? It's dog eat dog. That's how dogs work. A little more complicated. You got any bennies, zoomers, a little chicken powder? I've had a world class day. Holy Christmas. <laughs> Give me some. Well, for years and years. What the devil are you two up to? They say that money has been... Been outlaws. Root of all evil to a lot of men. Girl, you got a panty on your head. If a man's pud need a tug, would this be the place for said tugging? Can we just skip to the chase? Now money is short, time If you is like long. the setup, you gonna love go the punchline. Are we good? You tell me. Yeah, we're good. Man. Always acting so Humphrey Bogart. I'm gonna slow pump some babies into your daughter one at a time and twice on Sundays. Damn. Fargo. What kind of funny way of talking? I'm from Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. Premieres September 27th. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Now, them, them's cut your neck words right there. I'm going to pump some babies into your daughter nice and slow two times on Sunday, whatever the hell that white guy said. He said, he said every day and twice man, on Sunday. <laughs> man. That, let me tell y'all something. That show comes on FX. If you haven't watched FX, they do do gritty shows. I did mm -hmm. the review for Godfather Harlem last year. And that's supposed to be coming back again this year. And that was a damn good show. Equally yeah, as good as good Power, show. if not better than Power. Equally as good, if not better. I'm getting yeah, a lot of the feel. Yeah, Godfather of Harlem, you're sleeping. Yeah, be sure to go watch Godfather Harlem. Then turn around and come watch the reviews I did. I have a playlist that says Godfather of Harlem. There you go. We're going to have to watch this, too. I'm very yeah. intrigued by the show. It looks like it's got great writing. I love Chris Rock. I love Colonel Taylor, Uncle Gabe on Power. And I like this dynamic of them going back. That's got to be what, Larry, the 40s? The 40s, that, those yeah. cars are like they're from the 40s. And the yeah. dynamics for minorities trying to be in any illegal game was way worse than what it is now back in those days. Larry, what you think about that trailer? It looks fine to me. It looks like it's going to be a good writing story. And I'm going to definitely check it out. Yeah, it should be interesting. I haven't watched Fargo since season one. So they're on season four now. And 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 so I have no idea what it's going to, you know, if it ties into the other stories or not. I feel like I kind of want to go back and watch season two and three just to get an idea of, um, you know, if, if it's going to be a sort of continuing thing. I can't imagine it is since they're going back in time. But right. mm -hmm. it, it seems it seems like it's going to be a fun season to watch. So oh, it yeah. seems like I mean it's going to be good. And, you know, this is one of these things I'm really happy to see when you see stories like this. It's 
you know, it's one of those things where Hollywood for the longest time kept trying to say, oh, people won't watch these stories. They don't make money. If we if we make them, then we're just going to they're going to be losers because it's just it's bogus. If you have if you have good stories with good writing and good acting and directing and basically if you just make a good show and have black people in there with those stories, people will watch it and they will love them and and you'll still make money. You'll still win all the awards. I mean, if you look at the Emmys that just happened, I mean, Zendaya was the youngest, you know, the youngest woman to ever win, you know, a leading actress thing. And and she's a woman of color. And she and she was like, it's amazing because just like in the last couple of years, you've had two black women win the best leading act, you know, best actress in a, in a leading or yeah, I guess a leading role or whatever for uh, for the Emmys, and it's like the first time. It's like the first two in like seventy two years. So things are changing, hopefully for the long haul. But I just think I'm I'm really happy that stories like this are being told, and I'm I'm happy that they're making money and they're popular so that they can continue to be told. So hey, hey shouts out to my home girl Regina King taking the Emmy, Watchmen. Because when I started doing reviews of that, a whole lot of nerd ass white people came at me saying, I hate all this racism and that's not believable. And I was shut the fuck up, man. Just just yeah. shut up, man. I was just like, this is a part of what happened in the country. And for them weaving it into that story made that story even better. It made it yeah. even better. And Regina King killed in Watchmen. If you haven't watched mm -hmm. Watchmen, be sure to go back and check it out because Regina King deserved what she got for Watchmen. She deserved it. Right. 